an overwhelming yes vote at the U.S. Bishops' annual meeting. The bishops voted on a number of action items today, but the one that got the most attention was focused on the Eucharist in the life of the church. Correspondent Mark Irons reports from the bishops' meeting in Baltimore. Tracy, today 95% of the U.S. bishops gathered here approved a statement on the Eucharist, and clearly there has been evolution on this matter, as not so long ago there was pushback about even creating a document. U.S. bishops unify over a statement focused on giving clear teaching about the Eucharist. At their annual meeting in Baltimore, the body of bishops overwhelmingly approved a statement called The Mystery of the Eucharist in the Life of the Church. We spoke with bishops who told us about the importance of clarifying church teaching. We need to listen to the Word of God and to venerate Him present in the bread and the wine. It's about, about coming closer to Christ and, and, uh, and helping our people come to appreciate the, the, the great gift that the Eucharist is. During their June meeting, about 75% of the bishops supported an initial Lord, drafting of the teaching document on the Eucharist, but 55 bishops voted against it, some expressing concerns it would attempt to deny some public officials communion. Today, only eight bishops voted against approving the document. The document is not about politics, it's about the Eucharist. Before the final vote today, various amendments to the document were proposed. Earlier this week, Bishop Joseph Strickland of Tyler, Texas, told us he wanted to emphasize the need to approach the Eucharist with a repentant heart and confession. He said that applies not just to public officials, but all people who may oppose church teaching. Whatever walk of life, if you are adamantly opposing what the church teaches, that has to be addressed before you approach the Eucharistic altar. Today, the bishops took up a number of other action items, approving the USCCB 2022 budget and voting to update the conference's socially responsible investment guidelines. The bishops also authorized a review of their charter for the protection of children and young people, a document focused on fighting clergy sex abuse. We would expect that the review would take into consideration learnings from the McCarrick Report, other current events in the life of the church, and societal trends that present challenges for maintaining a safe environment. The bishops also approved a National Eucharistic Congress today. The big event is scheduled for 2024 in Indianapolis. It's all part of the bishops' effort to create a revival centered around the Eucharist. In Baltimore, Mark Irons, EWTN News Nightly.